Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Uh, this video is going to show you how to save a brick program and how to actually retrieve and edit that program or change something about that program. So here I have just a simple forward for two seconds program that I'm going to save. So on my keypad here I'm just going to go to the left and I'm going to go down to this icon right there. Kind of looks like a floppy disk. Not sure why they have a floppy disk there. Even though floppy disks weren't, haven't been around forever. If you think that's something else, let me know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and select that. And then here is where it will just default to this brick program number. And if you don't want that, we're just going to go up here to this backspace button and just backspace it out. And then you can basically type in whatever you want. Um, I'm going to type in something real easy. I'm just going to type in or call it EE. -E. And then when you're ready to save it, you just go all the, all the way over here to this check mark. And then it's saved. So now I can exit this program. I can go over to um, my brick program save. And there's EE -E right there. All right, now you can't do any editing right from here because it will just play the program or delete the program if you want to. So in order to edit it, you go back to it and do some fixing to it. You'll go to Brick Program, and then you'll go to this open folder. Click on that, and there's EE right there. So you click on that or select it, and now you can do any editing you want to do to that program. So that's just something that if you guys are doing brick programs and you want to be able to save it and then go back and edit it and change it, then that's how you do that. All right, guys, that is all. I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.